In order to send gifts from your company's gifted platform, your account must be funded with enough of a balance to cover the cost of the gifts you wish to send. For example, if you want to send a $50 birthday gift, then you need to have at least $50 in your account. Funds can be added to the general budget or to specific activities. We recommend that funds be added to the general budget. It makes tracking your total available funds easier without reallocating funds between different activities when you run out. The only reason to load funds to a specific activity is if you have separate team budgets or use different methods of payment for your activities. Most clients load enough funds to cover at least a quarter's worth of gifts. This is especially important when you have a reoccurring activity, like birthdays or work anniversaries. If you don't have enough funds, the gifts won't be automatically sent. For every gift sent, the cost of it is automatically deducted from your account balance. To get started, click the Load Funds button. There are three payment methods to load funds onto your gifted account. Credit card, ACH transfer, and wire transfer. When paying with credit card, there's a 3% processing fee automatically added to the total amount you load. Funding your account via credit card is immediate, so you can send gifts right away. You can add an additional credit card by clicking on Add a Credit Card, filling in the details, and clicking Add. Now your card is saved for future use. Now you can fund your account by entering the dollar amount you wish to load and selecting the name of the activity you wish to add funds to from the Load To dropdown. The second payment option is a free ACH wire transfer. They take anywhere between three to four business days from the time you initiate the transfer. You'll receive an email when the funds become available. To add funds via ACH transfer, click on the Load Funds button, add the dollar amount you wish to load, and select where the funds will go. If you do not have ACH details previously saved or wish to add another bank account, click on Add ACH Bank Information, fill in your bank details, and press Save. Your ACH details are now saved for future use. The last payment option is wire transfer. To initiate a wire transfer, please contact us at support at gifted.co with the dollar amount you want to transfer, and if you'd like the funds to be added to the general budget or to a specific activity. Upon receiving your request, we will send you an invoice that your finance department can process and pay. Once the funds have been received, we will then load the budget to your gifted account and contact you when it becomes available for use. While we do not charge any fees for this method, your bank may charge a flat wire transfer fee. Your budget tab acts as a report that offers you insight into your account balance. At a glance, you can easily see funds that have been loaded or transferred, reserved funds for automated gifts, and deductions for sent gifts. You can filter by activity name, action type, and advanced search. For example, if you wanted to see funds added and gifts sent during a specific time period, you would click on the action type dropdown, select funds added and gifts sent, click on advanced search, choose the dates of your choice, and click search. It will generate a report for all the activities you added to the filter. To export this report to send to your finance team, simply click on the Export Report button on the right side of your screen. By clicking the Summary button, you get a further breakdown of your available funds sorted by your total account balance and the budget available in both your general budget and specific activities. From the Budget tab, you are also able to move funds between activities and between the general budget to specific activities by clicking on the Move Funds button. This button comes in handy if you accidentally added funds to the wrong budget or if you run out of funds on one activity and need to immediately send out gifts without adding more funds. Please pay attention when moving budgets if you have several forms of payment saved, that you are not accidentally moving budgets across activities that correspond to different credit cards or ACH details. We created the budget alert and autoload funding features to help you effortlessly manage your gifting budget. For recurring anniversary and birthday gifting, it means the sending of gifts is fully automated. For ad hoc gifting, it means you always have funds available when weddings, births, spa bonuses, or other events arise. If you integrate us with your HR management platform, your gifting program literally runs itself. You can set budget alerts for general budget as well as for specific activities. To set a budget alert, click on budget from the left-hand side of your screen. 
At the top of the screen, press the Actions button, followed by Budget Alerts, and then click on Add Budget Alert. Select between Total Budget or Specific Activity from the Set Alert 4 dropdown and enter the alert amount. Next, add the email of the person who should receive the budget alerts by clicking on Add Recipient followed by Save. A budget alert that isn't tied to the Autoload Funding feature will result in an automated email notifying you that your budget has dipped below your threshold's amount. If the Autoload feature is connected to the budget alert, you will receive confirmation that the funds have been successfully loaded to your account. If you would like the system to autoload funds according to the budget alert you specified, ensuring that you never run out of funds, enter an autoload amount and select your desired method of payment. If you don't see the method of payment you wish to use, then you must first add it by clicking on Budget, Actions, Load Funds, followed either by Add a Credit Card or Add ACH Information. To edit a budget alert or your autoload feature, click on Budget, Actions, and select the one you'd like to edit. Next, click on the cogwheel to access Settings. To deactivate an alert, set the slider icon to Inactive next to Alert Status. If you want to change the alert or autoload amount, simply edit the amount that appears in the relevant field and click Save. 